it's five minutes before six o'clock in the morning and it is minus four degrees celsius and for a change i'm going to work this morning and it has been snowing and i forgot to put my car in the garage Many non-EV car owners believe that there must be a problem to have an electric car during winter with cold weather. This is because they have the experience that a combustion engine car sometimes have problems to start in cold weather. And many times the reason is that a 12 volt battery that is feeding power to the start engine gave up. But there is batteries and there is batteries and the difference is huge between an EV battery and the combustion engine's 12 volt battery. A combustion engine car needs a lot of current to ignite the fuel and that is stressful for the battery. In an EV there is nothing to ignite. This morning is not so cold so it shouldn't be any problem for any car to start. Look at this. Let's start to preheat the car. Four minus degrees Celsius inside the car. Let's start the preheating. Look, the battery symbol indicates that the car warms up the battery. A cold battery affects the regenerating braking system. This ice icon shows that the battery is cold. Okay, so it's warm and cozy here and now it's 25% in the battery. Inside here I guess it's maybe 20 or something similar. So let's go now and see how it is to drive the car. Driving during winter conditions like this requires that you have winter tires. Here in Scandinavia it is a constant debate what is best, studded or studless tires. I made an episode where I explained why I drive studless tires. You'll find a link in the description to that episode. So let's see what happens if I press the accelerator well it was just spinning didn't get the acceleration I wanted but when it's slippery like this and I press the brakes like this I cannot stop really you have to be very very careful driving in slippery conditions like this when coming to a crossing like this if there is someone co coming that you have to give way for then you absolutely need to stop so you should be preparing yourself and prepare the drive in order to make sure that you can stop in time to avoid a collision in slippery conditions like this 
Well, there is different road surface during the winter. This condition, it's quite obvious that you have less friction between the road and the tires. But there is certain weather conditions where it is impossible to see or judge that the road is icy. Then it becomes dangerous. So when the temperature is going down to around the freezing point, then you must be alert and drive extra careful. And when the roads are covered like this with snow, there is no option to drive with autopilot. At least not in my car. I don't know how it is with this full self-driving software that is available for selected customers in United States if the autopilot is managing to drive in winter conditions like this. Or maybe it is not working because I get this message. Apparently I didn't clean the car enough since it is complaining that several cameras are blocked. So now <clears throat> I will park the car in the garage so it will be clean from snow when going home. It's just before the sun is rising and it's bitter cold this January morning. The car indicates that it's minus 16 degrees Celsius inside the car. It is cold. And now is the question, can I start this car and drive it directly without any preheating? Let's see. First thing is, can I enter the car? This is notorious to freeze. But if I press here, oh, it works quite fine. So I can open the car. That works. Let's see how it looks like inside here. Is this can start? Yeah, the car indicates it's minus 14 degrees Celsius. Okay, we can see that there is a quite huge blue line here. This part of the charge in the battery is not available to use because the battery is so cold. We can also see this dotted line that indicates that the regenerating power is limited. 
That means that the car cannot recoup the energy when braking, and the normal brakes needs to be used in order to reduce the speed. The acceleration is also limited, so no drag race with a cold battery. Uh, let's turn off this uh, uh, wiper. This is uh, this is like barely barely legal to drive like this because you have hardly no vision. So I can't drive so fa far right now because of the vision. Let's start the heating. Normally, you should use an ice scraper to clear the windscreen, but now I have a better way. Use the heat and fast forward. All of this gives just a good reason for TIC as a routine to preheat the car. And having it connected, plugged in, like I did not, will prevent the car to take energy for heating up the car from the battery, losing a valuable range. The Model 3 that is delivered today has also on top of that a heat pump instead of a heating element like in my car, making the warming process of the car even more efficient. And then the question about parking the car in the garage or not. I am maybe an exception that I have my car in a garage. Most people seem to use the space in the garage for storage and other things and keep their cars outside all year round. So, I hope that this episode dispelled the myth of that electric cars don't work in cold weather. My EV, my Tesla Model 3, has actually also a 12 volt battery, but it's not used to ignite any combustion engine. It's only used for powering devices in the car like the screen and lights and other things that needs 12 volt. If you like my channel and this episode and didn't subscribe to it yet, please do that. Uh, and uh, if you would like to watch some other movies that I have made, in the winter, you can click up there. Uh, and also the episode about the tires is down here. Until next time, have a great life.